I am now sponsored by SeatGeek and FanDuel. Make sure to use code BENGAL. That's code BENGAL for $20 off your first purchase on SeatGeek and $20 free to play when you sign up for FanDuel. Also, check out my Twitch for live streams, my second channel for other games. Both links are in the description. What is going on, guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video. And this is shaping up to be one of the craziest episodes in the history of the Ozark State Outlaws. And what do I mean by that? Well, one, we are ranked for the first time in the history of the series at number 24. Following a win over number 15, I believe, um, in the country, as you can see. What did they drop to? Does it show? I think Mizzou was 15. I don't remember. Regardless of that... We now play the number 16 team. It was enough to boost us into the top 25. I mean, this this Outlaws team is for real. The top 25 is crazy now. When you get like this deep into the, the dynasty. Not that this is super deep, but it's kind of like... It, things are weird with the way it goes. Like last week, Texas was, was 16 and they, they won. They were 0-1. And they, they were at 16 and now they're at 14. Despite only picking up another victory over unranked Cal. Just kind of weird the way it works out. Uh, but as you can see, number 24, Ozark State. Doesn't show last week. And I guess we hopped in after the bye, which was kind of odd. And then Georgia Tech is our rival, which is fun. But we don't have them on the schedule this year. I'm really excited. Florida is a very good team, though. 97 overall, 97 offense, 97 defense. When we played Missouri... They were not that good. They were an 88 overall. Florida is going to be a different monster. But I do also want to show you guys recruiting because, wow, did I find a pretty good player. It's a three-star free safety. His name is Zach Mitchell, and he is an 80 overall gem. We have great bonuses for him, championship contender, coach stability, conference prestige, all that. But plus eight overall gem? Are you kidding me? I was going hard on Edward Roberson because we really needed a safety in my opinion, especially on the, uh, that free side next to Mike Lee. And he seemed to be really, really good. And it just looks like mm, maybe we were not going to be able to get him. Falling behind a USC and then out of nowhere, a, a way better player comes into the fold. He's taller by three inches, six foot three. He weighs a lot more. He's got 30 pounds on him. And then we go into the bonus points. He's got way more bonus points. He's way better. 94 speed. He's got great hit tackle, hit power, pursuit, play rec. His coverages are very comparable. In fact, they're even better. And then block shedding is not bad. Press is pretty high at an 80. Like, Zach Mitchell is incredible. Number one player we need to get. So I don't care how many locks I have to break, what I have to do, no matter what, I need to secure Zach Mitchell. We have a defensive coordinator upgrade, and I think that is going to be um, plus two man coverage and plus four press. I think that's probably going to be the best thing we can do. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, we're home. Let's come out in alternates. Um, I want to wear the alternate helmet with the alternate jersey double orange does that look pretty sick i think so we might want to go with black pants maybe does that look bad i don't know we'll, we'll see how it looks in game we'll go black socks black shoes default gloves that'll work all right let's beat those gators Felipe Franks is a 93 overall. They don't look amazingly better than us, but we'll have to see. The rain's coming down. I don't know how I like this look. We'll have to decide in game. You can't really get the full scope of thing, uh, things with the rain. It's unfortunate. But uh, we'll have to see how it goes. Here's the SEC West standings. We are currently at number four. That's, that's very good. <laughs> let's get a win here today and let's not slip. All right, we got to defend the saloon. Only our second ever in-conference game in the SEC. Our second game of season number four. And we are starting to face some juggernauts. 
Of course, the Florida Gators absolutely fall under that category, and we're going to get the football first. Try to set the pace, set the tone of the game, open up with a score. Tony Gates is back deep, and let's get it. Our first ever game is a ranked team. Gates will return. I kind of do like the look of these orange with the black pants and the orange helmets look insane. I love these orange helmets. They look terrible when you're picking them out, but in-game they look so amazing to me. Here's a handoff to Shelton. Josh Shelton. Good gain of eight. That's a blitz coming in. Roll out Colby and we're actually going to run. And slide to avoid disaster. It's going to be open over the middle. Wide open. Rolling Francisco. And you cannot say these orange jerseys to orange helmet combo. Do not look sick. I'm a little bit curious about the black pants i think they do look pretty good though especially with the black face mask i don't know let me know what you think down in the comment section below if you would have preferred the gray pants for this one i like the black pants though and i think we're gonna start seeing a lot of uh opponents wearing alternate uniforms we're gonna start making sure they have those wide open it's omar williams easy first down and this offense is moving Read option. What a great stop by the safety coming up. Third and 11. Let's convert. Omar Williams over the middle. And he is stopped just short of the end zone. 25-yard gain on third and long. Exactly what you like to see. The offense stepping up and making big plays. Colby Spencer has been on the money so far. Read option. Colby Spencer on the quarterback keeper. Loses one. So we're testing out the Gators, seeing what they can do. And it looks like this is a team that's going to defend the run fairly well and be exposed a little bit more in the passing game. We're going to try a run here with Josh Shelton, see if we can pound it in the end zone. Not exactly a power back, but when the blocking is as good as it is there, he doesn't need to be. Walks into the end zone virtually untouched. And that is an early lead for the Ozark State Outlaws as we go up 7-0 over the Gators. We're going to look to play some defense now. This is going to be by far the toughest part of the day is shutting down the Florida Gators. In the rain, Gators love the swamp. I don't know. How, how well is a gun going to operate in the rain with our outlaws shooting? We'll have to see. It's going to be a run. Get off that Devin White. Good tackle. LaMichael P. Ryan. He is the cousin of Samaj P. Ryan. Fun fact. And that's just not me making a storyline. That's actually true. Felipe Franks going to throw for Knight. Devin White there to make the tackle. Third and two. A sack here would be very, very good. We're going to send some pressure and try to make that happen. Of course, that is Tavarius Skinner. Where is Parrish? Willie Parrish. Of course, the freshman getting a lot of playing time. And it is a run. And that is a stop. Big tackle from that free safety spot. And will Florida punt? Looks like it. Devin Robeson. You don't expect him to make a lot of tackles, but that is a gigantic one. And Florida will indeed punt back to Tony Gates. We'll see if we can make a man or two miss. And we cannot. I want to keep trying this read option. We just need to, them to play it better. And wow, that's a fantastic play on the edge. That could have been a lot of yards. But uh, we've been relatively held in check so far. Third and two. Let's convert. Wide open over the middle. It's rolling Francisco. He breaks a tackle. Picks up 23. Colby Spencer yet to have an incompletion. It's my quarterback. Oh, uh, we had Omar Williams maybe. We're going to take it with Colby though. And pick up four on the run. I thought this rain might have been more of an issue for passing the ball. But Colby Spencer has been absolute money as he is facing pressure, and we are going to run. Easy first down. And Florida with good out of the game with a concussion. Don't see that happen in, in EA games anymore. The NFL, uh, NCAA, not like that. Well, the NFL doesn't. There obviously has not been an NCAA after this. NFL does not want you to know that concussions are a thing, so they don't allow for them to be in Madden. Fun fact. Ooh, that's going to be a blitz from that free safety spot. How can we expose that? Gaither or Shelton, probably. 
And it's going to be Josh Shelton out of the backfield. He's got some space. Look at that 98 juke rating, and he's still going. 12-yard gain. Jeremy Chance in motion. We're going to throw that slant over the middle, and that is Colby Spencer's first incompletion of the day. Had a little bit of separation there. Had to pass lead inside to make sure that wasn't intercepted or something like that. Um, so better safe than sorry. I'd rather the incompletion than an interception, obviously. Let's create our own levels concept here on that right side. Kind of see if anything gets open. We're just going to throw it away. I don't really like the way that played out. Third and ten. We're two for two on third down so far here today. And we're going to throw that inside. Jake Rodriguez picks up ten, but not the first. It's going to be fourth and inches. And we are going to go for it here. I don't like running the football in these spots because... If, if they shut it down, I mean, you got no chance. Through the air, you can at least scramble or find the open man, but they're running with kind of a weak front seven here. We're going to run it right up the gut with Shelton, but they shed immediately, and Josh Shelton is stopped. Tim O'Brien just not a great blocker at fullback, and that's why I don't like running the football, with uh, especially with the non-power back. That is a tough spot for us. Sandoval Slaughter standing up. I don't really know what this package is. But they're going to go wide open to the flat. Hammond steps out of bounds. We couldn't take advantage of a big opportunity. Sucks. Oh, P. Ryan has space. We're going to need Mike Lee to wrap up. Thank you for making that tackle. LaMichael P. Ryan picks up 30. Didn't like that. It's going to be a run. Get there, Devin White. You know, P. Ryan still backed him up by a lot. Picked up six, but it's a good tackle. And that is the end of the first quarter. They're going to run a P. Ryan. Good tackle by Devin White. Yeah, he makes his defense really, really good. Derek Higgins, where are you? And he's got space after the catch. He broke one tackle and Freddie Swain was almost gone. 33-yard gain. Derek Higgins just kept backing up and then ran away. What was that? Chase him down, Colt. Devin White ends up making the tackle. He already has like five. It's his second quarter. They're going to throw over the middle and Swain coming back on a slant. Looked like maybe a... Uh, Short post. Felipe Franks perfect through the air. Swain has a touchdown. Did look like a slant. And Derek Higgins just beat. Just beat. It's going to be 7-7. That second touchdown would have uh, helped out a lot right now. But I don't like running in those situations. People always tell me to run in those spots. I don't like to. I'm going to do me. We're going to lob that up. Shelton, it's intercepted. Just thought we'd get separation. Stupid decision. And uh, we pay for that mistake. Omar Williams was open off the jump. I just thought that we'd get open out of the backfield like that. And nope. We've gone downhill very quickly. Really want a turnover here. That's a really good tackle. Colt 45. Good stuff. Frank's going to take off, and he has nowhere to go. Fat Albert falls on him. Good sack by Albert Johnson. It's going to be third and ten. Let's play some defense. Don't give him anything. It's a screen. And Devin White makes sure it goes nowhere. LaMichael P. Ryan loses four. Felipe Frank's still perfect, but they're out of field goal range. They're going to have to punt the ball back. So the turnover... By Colby Spencer doesn't end up hurting us at all. We just got to play smarter. Slant, open, Omar Williams, and the ball is knocked out. What a play by the defensive back. Third and ten, going to Rodriguez over the middle. First down, he bowls over one. Goes over through another one. Gain of 24, and that is our third down target right there. No question about it. Read option. Oh, man, they just shut that down so well. Third and nine. We're rolling out. 
Because we see that we got the first down. Colby Spencer picks it up himself. I don't want to throw a contested pass if I don't have to in that spot. That's open. Register. Picks up nine. Two curls wide open on that right side. Over the middle. Rodriguez. Ooh. Oh, man. He gets rocked. He has that high trucking. I'm trying to pull it out here. But he's just wide open. They're not covering him over the middle. Over the middle has been open all game. No one's covering Jake Rodriguez. That's a sick play by Andrews. His second interception of the game, I believe. And I, I thought I had uh, Jake Rodriguez in the end zone. He had a step. I guess I threw the ball late. Can't be making those stupid decisions. It looked open, though, so I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe just me being blind. Devin White, good tackle. Good tackle for loss. Bullock loses one. Florida on their own goal line. We could come away with two points here. You never know. They're hesitating to snap the ball. I don't want to uh, jump to conclusion and say they're running it. So I'm not going to run commit. They do run it though. Skinner can't wrap up. No one can wrap up. They might even call a uh, timeout here. When we get back to the line. No one's going to stop momentarily for the first. We'll see what they do. They might try to get this now. I don't know. They might try to score. It looks like they're going to. They're running... Uh, you know, twins on both sides. They can go to the flat. Parrish is there. Trips left. Knight in motion right. Now they got a twin set up. And they're going to throw short to Knight. Good tackle by Albert Johnson. Call timeout number two. What? That's not a tackle? Oh my goodness. Looks like Florida is going to score before the half, probably. Frank's going to run. That's got to be a sack. No one's there. Damn, man. We got to get him behind the line. That would have been a huge play. Surprised they're not calling a timeout here. They're going to snap the ball quickly. Go to the sideline. They got it. Second and 10. 11 seconds to go here. You're going over the middle. And that is to Tyree Cleveland. And time is going to run out. Oh, they call timeout number three. I thought they called that already. Uh, just showing on my screen for the first time. All right. So Florida going to bang this one right through. That pretty much will be the end of the first half. Florida has a three-point lead. And we're going to look to answer. Freddie Stovall's out for the game with a strained bicep. Unfortunately, we do have to kick off to the Gators. Uh, and we will have this play end the first. Tony Gates, pretty good return. Can't get around anybody. Got to kick off. We need the defense to step up. There is no reason Felipe Frank should be perfect through the air. Frank's going to run. He has the space up the middle. He's breaking tackles too, man. Oh, Gross. Devin White shuts down P. Ryan. Is he not the best player on this team by a country mile? Who misses Montrell Gardner at middle linebacker? Uh, not me. And they're going to go deep. Mike Hitman Lee with the interception. Let's go, baby. Felipe Frank's perfect. Yeah, not anymore. Big play by Mike Lee. Got to look to keep going over the middle, but it's shut down there. We're going to throw that on the run. Complete to Omar Williams for the first. Try another read option. And it's just not good. Florida swarms. Third and six. Oh, no. We're going to just scramble with Colby Spencer. We got it. We'll slide two. Third and one. That's open in the flat. It's rolling Francisco. Good conversion. Read option. We're trying it. We're going to juke. Colby Spencer holds on to the football. Not injured. I like it. A little bit out of stamina, though. Third and two. Third and two. We're going with a handoff. Shelton short. It's going to be fourth and one. 
Uh, how do we play this? I know field goal would be the wise decision. You know what? We are going to play the field goal. I know it's fourth and one. I can't go for it here. Colby Spencer is gassed. Ah, the running back's got some stamina back. You know what? I talked about not running it in these spots, but we're going to run it. Here we go. Give me a block. Shelton has space. First down. Let's go, baby. The aggressiveness pays off. It was Chauncey Gardner Johnson in here. He's still at Florida. And we got Jeremy Chance. It's a pretty good run. First and goal. We're running the ball. Spinning back. Shelton. End zone. Touchdown. Josh Shelton. Fights his way into the end zone with a spin and then a stumble. But uh, not the toughest touchdown. Either way, into the end zone. Hard fought. And we are going to take a 14-10 lead, making it so only a touchdown. Oh, my God. What? All right, I guess I, uh, I guess I shanked that, huh? Thrown over the middle. Big hit by Mike Lee. Tyree Cleveland is just a yard short of the first down. Going to be third and one. We're going to try another blitz. Over the middle! Complete. There's a flag. Show me a hold. Roughing the passer? Okay. All right. That's a weak call. Good stop by Sandoval Slaughter there. It's another run. Oh, he has space. He's a, that's a one on one with Mike Lee, and that did not end well for Mike Lee. Oh, wow. Where are you, Derek Higgins? Tyree Cleveland's been a problem all game. He continues to be a problem. He shushes the crowd in the third quarter as they just take the lead with a touchdown. So, um, the missed extra point, which I'm still not sure how I missed that, doesn't really weigh uh, too much right now. I know a field goal would tie, but uh, we're playing for touchdowns anyway. 27 seconds remain in the third quarter as... Uh, we look to score, obviously. I don't Derek Higgins just got torched. That'll happen. Great block. 77's doing work. That's Josiah Howard. Read option. Good blocking. 77 there again. Dude, it wouldn't let me slide. It got me into an animation. Colby Spencer's just asking to get taken out of the game. That's open. Spencer on the money for Hunter Register. First down. No turnovers, please. Oh, Shelton on the power. What a run by Josh Shelton. Third and two. Shelton. There we go. Third and nine. Oh, I wanted to throw quick there. I'm going to settle for underneath. To Omar Williams, I don't want to turn over the ball, but at the same time, when you don't get the first down, what are you doing? And we're going to have to go for it on fourth and four with five minutes to play. Ron Norman's in the game. This is not our best group of receivers, let me tell you. Hopefully we get separation. We're going to throw that. It's Tony Gates, and he's dropped the ball. Tony. He was the most open receiver, and he I know he got rocked, but, like, I need that to be caught. Oh, my God. P. Ryan. Thank you, Chris Chase. Still gains 23. It's a screen. Shut it down, Devin. Good tackle. Another tackle for loss. Devin White. Another big play. Keeping the Outlaws in the game. Florida will punt. Colby Spencer rolling out. And uh, just not really finding anything. I know I'm rolling out there, but nothing was getting open. That's wide open. Gaither. 
Juke's out of bounds. Oh, Jake Rodriguez. Nice juke, and he gets destroyed. He backflipped. Jeez. That's open, and I can't hit him on the drag. Third and one. I need Josh Shelton to pick up the big first down here. And he's got it. Jake Rodriguez again. Big gain. Big stiff arm. Another 20-plus reception for him five catches 83 yards he's almost averaging 20 per catch blitz was coming in colby spencer delivered it right on the money slant omar well I, I had such an urge to hit left bumper and pitch that would have been absolutely psychotic so i didn't but i wanted to badly but can you imagine if i would have done that something bad would have happened like, I don't know, it didn't get pitched to the guy, it fumbled on the ground, and I lose the game. I couldn't post. I'd probably just end my channel. Rolling out with Colby. Throwing short. Rolling Francisco. That's a first down. We got a minute to play. We've played fairly well today. It's just been big turnovers that's killed us. And I don't know what I want to do here. We're going to throw that. Yep, yeah, just incomplete. Got to be careful. Oh, man. We're going to get sacked. Ball's on the ground. Recovered by Davis. I kind of freaked out there under pressure. We had some options. They were really tight windows that I didn't want to throw to. And, um, yeah, it came out. Damn. Another turnover in a scoring situation. Big tackle, though, by Devin White. It's his 10th tackle. He has six tackles for loss. Oh, my God. It's going to be another run. Big tackle by, you guessed it, Devin White. We got there first with uh, with Mike Lee, but Devin White, his 11th tackle, 7th tackle for loss. How many tackles for loss are you going to get this season? Like 60? Here's third and 10. It's going to be a run. Devin White, another tackle for loss. All right, we have 37 seconds, no timeouts. We have more than 100 total yards of offense on them, and it, you know, accounted for 13 points. Turnover on downs, and, and turnovers have killed us, but Tony Gates has some room. Big return. We're going to have a chance. We're going to need to score quickly, though. This is certainly not a given that we can even get back in this game at all. We're going to need big gains really quickly. It's going to require taking some chances, making some idiot throws on the run, but that's what it's going to take. We have no timeouts. We just, we need yards now. That's open over the middle. Come on, Omar. No, good play by the defensive back. It's deflected by MacArthur Burnett. I thought we had it. Damn. Eight for 11 on third down. I don't even know what to do here. Oh my god, we had it, we had it, we had B! No, the safety came over. Why would you play inside to Jake Rodriguez? Why would you do that? I thought we were going to fit it over the head of the linebacker. I expected the game's coverage to work well. And that's funny enough exactly why I failed here. Look at that. Who's the safety supposed to get here? Clearly outside. I throw it right as he breaks. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. That's a heartbreaker. That is a heartbreaker. Florida's gonna beat us. That is the game. A game that we very well could have won. We didn't take our points when we had the opportunities to. We turned over the ball. It's an ESPN Classic and... Uh, it sucks because we've lost some of these ESPN Classic games. I think my number one game score all time is a loss. This one hurts especially bad because the last play of the game essentially could have changed the entire dynamic. Colby Spencer started off real hot, slowed down. 273 yards, no touchdowns, three interceptions. He was decent on the ground, nothing special. Josh Shelton 
yards per carry is bad, but he had two rushing touchdowns. Receiving, kind of spread the ball around pretty well. Jake Rodriguez was uh, our highest yards. No one really allowed sacks. Offensive line was good. Devin White is still an animal. Eight tackles for loss. I don't even know how you do that. A sack for Albert Johnson. An interception for Mike Lee. But it, when it came down to it, we couldn't capitalize. Big turnovers held us back. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed either way. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Thank you.